Hey guys, welcome back to another redstone video. Today I'm going to show you a concrete powder to concrete and netherrack to nylium converter module for my TNT blast chamber. Since nylium is still a brand new addition to the game, I want to explain the mechanics real quick. If you would surround netherrack on any of those blocks that are indicated here, with glass blocks with nylium and then bone millet, it would convert to nylium. There are also two different nylium blocks. It's the crimson nylon and the warped nylon. They pretty much act the same, there's no difference in that regard so far. Alright, I got a dispenser as well, so you could just power the dispenser real quick. And then actually since there are two different nylon blocks in the surrounding area, it would randomize which color it converts to. There's a 50-50 chance. So let's see what we get this time. We got the crimson. Concrete powder to concrete conversion should be well known by now. You can convert the concrete powder into concrete just by bringing it into contact with water. Or you can also just place it directly next to water and then you get the concrete immediately. Alright, so probably one of the simplest ways to make a nylium converter would be using your offhand slot. So I just want to put some Nazarac in your offhand. And here I got a little clock with a bone meal dispenser. Okay, let's turn this on real quick. You would just need to hold down right and left mouse button. If you want to go in survival. So we place the Nazarek, mine it immediately. And that's really the easiest way. Oh, you can, yeah, from Nylium. Same goes for the concrete powder, of course. Yeah, instead, you would just have a water source and place the powder. So that was the easy way to get Nylium or concrete powder. Now I'm going to show you the more complicated, but also faster and more efficient way. So using the technique where you place it and break it immediately again, you can get about 9,000 blocks per hour. Using a TNT blast chamber, you can get twice as much, 18,000 blocks per hour. The main part of the machine, the TNT blast chamber that I already made a separate tutorial on, brings the blocks into the optimal shape. So one single TNT coming from either TNT duper or dispenser is able to blow up 240 blocks at once for minimal loss of items for about only 2 in 10,000. So it's actually not that expensive to operate this machine since you, yeah, you get 240 blocks with one single TNT. The player would actually stand AFK here, would be supplied by the stropper with additional blocks. You would place them here in the front of this piston that fires every four ticks and pushes them into the TNT blast chamber. The concrete powder is converted with this waterlocked stair. The bone meal dispenser here would convert the Nazarek into the Nylium. So it's actually activated by the block stream directly. You just got two observers there. And here you could select if you want the crimson or the warped nylium. Or if you have both extended, you get a 50-50 split. All right, then let's say time to try this out. You can turn it on here. The piston, by the way, is zero ticked every four ticks. So we got a little contraption here because yeah, the zero ticks should guarantee the optimal result. Okay, so we just stand here. And the rest of the machine does it for you. In order to get a better view of the machine while it's running, I place down a command block that places down Nazarek for me. I also want to mention one little flaw and how you could fix it if you really want to. The first Nazarek wouldn't be converted into Nylium because it's getting pushed out too quickly. As you can see here, I don't think it's a big issue. If you want to fix that, you could place down another bone meal dispenser here. Just fill it up and then this issue is also solved. Alright, yeah, now I'm just waiting for the next explosion in case you also want some crimson. You can also push this in or switch to crimson entirely. Yeah, I've already shown how this yeah, TNT blast chamber works in a separate video. Takes a while until you get to 240 blocks. This case pushes down four times and at the fourth push down the TNT also explodes. Uses the good old block 36 trick where moving blocks have a lower blast resistance. Okay, I think the next time it pushes down we should also get the TNT. There we go. Yeah, as you can see you can also stack Nylium on top of each other. It doesn't work like grass so this never would convert back into Nazarek. And here at the bottom yeah, we already got a ton of items. I have to admit, it's a bit much effort to build this whole TNT blast chamber just to get some nylium or concrete. But you could also hook up multiple machines 
to the same TNT blast chamber. So you could, for example, hook up a cobble farm or a tree farm and just merge the block streams at some point. So for example, here you could put in blocks from the top as well, coming from a cobble farm. So this is no problem at all. You can, yeah, the output of multiple farms into this TNT blast chamber. So maybe if you already got something uh, that requires a TNT blast chamber, you can just hook up this module to it. To end the video, I'm going to quickly show you how you can build this little nylium and concrete module. In the video description, you can find tutorial videos showing you how you can build the whole TNT blast chamber, and also got a tutorial video showing you how you can merge multiple block streams coming from different farms and put it all in one TNT blast chamber. All right, so let's go over here. We're going to start with the little zero ticked piston that pushes the blocks out. Zero ticks, yeah really guarantee the optimal result for this. So if you need a gap of two blocks in between and then full blocks that can be powered here. Next we need to get an observer. So we place it down here. Then another one over there. You can now just place this one down. Here we need another piston. And now just place two redstone dust here at the top. Okay, then we get a sticky piston that can be activated by a lever. We also want a dropper. We got one. And pla just place it here. You need to feed the dropper actually uh, with two hoppers. And above you could put a double chest or hook up multiple double chests to that. Uh, one hopper can only transfer 9,000 items per hour or once every eight ticks. But the player in this case would yeah, place blocks every four ticks. So you need two hoppers to, to keep up. Okay, um, you can probably also put the block here and the lever there. Might be a bit nicer. The player would stand here somewhere and place blocks. You could also maybe stand a bit lower. Yeah, that's kind of up to you. Okay, then the concrete powder module. I am just using some stairs. I think that's the easiest. That'll be water lock. So I want to put a block in front. And the Nylium module, just gonna place down server facing this way, another facing this way. Then we need the dispenser, or two dispensers if you don't want the skipped Nazarek. And this dispenser also needs to be fed by two hoppers to keep up, and of course some bone meal on top. And yeah, then it's just up to you if you want some piston that pushes the nylium close. Okay, this would be the block that can be converted. I put it here or there. Yeah, maybe let's just take a look at the version here. All right, that's already it. Yeah, hope this might be useful for you. At the moment, we actually don't know if there's uh, any other use for the nylium except that you are able to place um, fungi on it, which is Maybe important for yeah, crimson log farm. We'll see. At the moment, it's mostly decoration block. Okay. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.